Hey, 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 everybody. Monkey Puzzle here, and I'm going to be streaming some No Man's Sky today. Right now, I'm just waiting for the game to uh, to start. <laughs> I have the download, thought it was all ready to go, and when I started it, it's now doing this long update thing. So as soon as that's done, I will start the stream, so hopefully soon. Hey, Ladybugs, what is up? Welcome. I just made the announcement that I'm just waiting for the game to update. I've got the download already, but it's doing this whole first time gameplay update thing, even though I opened up the old version last night just to make sure everything was good. So as soon as that finishes, we will be starting up and checking out what the new update for No Man's Sky has to offer I haven't played it since it first came out. I enjoyed it then. I did see it short, its shortcomings, um, but I did enjoy it at the time. Um, but apparently there's a lot more to it now. So really interested to check it out. I'm particularly interested to check out the new building system. Apparently you can build anywhere on any planet now, underwater or on the mountains. There's like a 20,000 piece building limit or something like that, which sounds... Like, uh, I might not exceed that. <laughs> and there's terraforming in it as well, where you can shape the land on the planets. And that sounds pretty cool, too. And supposedly that opens up pretty early in the game. We'll see. Um, and there's the new multiplayer. Yeah, so, yeah, we're going to check it out. Um, we may or may not like it um, at this point. We'll see how it goes. If it's something that people respond to well... We can do it more in the future, and we'll see how it goes. Um, yeah, so there's a new multiplayer thing added, and I was going to try to play with the Raleigh today, but he has to work, and the the update didn't come out soon enough this morning for him to do it before work. But he and I, um, if it turns out to be a cool thing, we'll definitely be doing some of it together, and there's also the opportunity for other folks to join us um, apparently people can drop in at any point, so we may get some of the other iron miners in here. Uh, we'll see how that goes. Um, but for now, I'm just going to do a couple more things while I wait for this to launch, and uh, I'll be right back.
Okay. Here we go. It looks like it says it's ready to play. So let's go ahead and play the game. Oh. Got to get out of here so I can turn that off. Nope. We want... <laughs> we'll get there. Where is it? Okay. Here we go. Launching No Man's Sky. So, let's play the game. So this is a new option in here. Uh, joining the game. That did not exist before. Um, there was no multiplayer before, too. <laughs> the, the, it was a pretty big disaster in their initial launch, which was apparently two years ago. A lot of folks were expecting multiplayer because Sean Murray had promised it, and it did not exist. Apparently, it exists now, or at least some level of co-op play exists. It may not be true full universe multiplayer. Um, so as some of the other YouTubers I play with are become available to play, um, they can jump in with me this way. But for now, let's go ahead and check this out. Let's play the game. So we're going to do a brand new game. This was from... Well, actually, I opened it up last night just to re-familiarize myself with the controls and check out if, uh, if everything was working and stuff and just to get it reinstalled so today's thing would be, um, uh, you know, ready to go. So we get five slots, it looks like, for games. So we're going to start a brand new game. Of course, you get choices of normal survival permadeath or creative so this one's more challenging this one's supposed to be pretty chill today let's keep it chill i wanted to see how far we can get today um, and so we can check out some of the new stuff we're kind of just doing a survey to see what we think of this game at this point um, so no big commitment so let's start on normal if we do decide that um, it's something that uh, you want me to keep checking out then we can start over again in the harder mode I don't think I'll ever do permadeath. <laughs> we wouldn't get very far that way. All right, so we got the star field coming through. No Man's Sky. I used to know what font that was. Loading shaders. At some point, I got to alt tab out so I can get the chat back up. It's hiding behind OBS at the moment, uh, but it has stolen control of my mouse for the moment. We are zooming through the galaxy. Here, I'm going to do the alt tab real quick and get the chat up. Hey, crackers. What is going on? For sure. Yeah, I wasn't sure what people would think of me streaming. <laughs> I definitely did some of that when it first came out two years ago. Um, but the game wasn't very well received at that point. To be honest, it was not a bad game. It was just simpler than had been advertised. Um, and, uh, you know, they had made what seemed to be some false claims about it. But at this point, this update is supposed to bring it up to what everybody wanted in the first place. Um, so we'll see. I looked at it last night, just to remind myself, um, and there's been three other updates before this, too. There was, like, um, one called Foundation, one called Path Pathfinder, and one called uh, Atlas Rises, I think. And so the Foundation update brought base building to it, which did not exist um, initially. Pathfinder brought vehicles... Uh, so you have a little buggy and stuff you can go around with. And then Atlas Rises apparently added like 30 hours of story content to it, uh, which none of those have I played. So there's actually four updates for me at this point. Um, but the reviews for it on Steam have turned ar around quite a bit. They definitely resurrected themselves. They had like a huge number of people returning it before and... Uh, tons of thumbs down, but it actually has managed to um, redeem itself. It get its ratings back in order, 
And now most people have to admit that, uh, well, it seems that they're admitting that it's a pretty good game at this point. It sure is taking a long time to load. <laughs> it's probably because it's the first time I've loaded this update and it's supposed to introduce a lot of changes. So it's probably doing a bunch of stuff internally at the moment. It's supposed to be a whole graphics overhaul to this. Unless this is like a press and key kind of thing. No. Still loading shaders. Hopefully we'll get beyond that. <laughs> Uh, it does say video output low again. What's going on with that? Yeah, not exactly sure. Hopefully it'll catch up. This can't be too demanding on it, the Starfield. Trying to stay persistent with the streaming. I had quite a bit of internet problems with my stream last night, um, but sometimes it works just fine. So it's hard to say. Trying to fiddle with a few things. Every time I alt tab out, it seems like the star field freezes for you guys. Um, which don't want to do that. This is taking an awfully long time. And the star field itself is jittery for me, so that's not you guys. It's kind of freeze framing, I guess, as it loads shaders. <laughs> Hopefully, this all goes okay. Knock on wood, or it's going to be the shortest stream ever. There, now it's moving for me. All right, here we go. Initialize. Commencing Atlas system suit initialization. Life support systems activated. All right, you got your granddaughter watching. That's awesome. I will keep it granddaughter worthy. Alright, my shields are up. I've got uh, three health, little health crosses up there on the upper left. No peno umat. Looks a little warm. A little bit of radiation, a little bit of toxicity. Hey, it looks like the stream is all green again. Hey! That's brand new right now. I can actually see myself. Which is not something that you could do before. So I am in third person mode at the moment. Okay, so yeah. Up there you can see the bar that's flashing. Um, I'm having radiation protection issues, so we can... I should have a ship around here somewhere. Oh, where is my ship? Usually you start right next to your ship. Um, if I don't find it, I'm going to die pretty soon already. The... I am in third person mode, which is a little distracting, but it's brand new, so that's cool. Um, there's stuff all around. Apparently all of this is procedurally generated. Usually there is a little icon for your ship. Radiation protection. 10%. For... We may have a really early death here. <laughs> Where is my ship? I don't see an icon for it. If I get in um, the ship, then... Then, uh, let me see. Let's get the exosuit. That will protect me. So my hazard protection... We can charge it up again with sodium, sodium nitrate, or ion battery, okay. And then, do I have the scanner on my multi-tool? No, it's critically damaged. We need ferrite dust. And both of those are brand new things. 
Um, okay. So, yeah. <laughs> I think we're gonna die straight off here. Uh, which is a terrible beginning. What's up, Glax? What's up, Exalua? Started the game again. And, uh, yeah, we're gonna have a death straight off, aren't we? I got no ship I can jump into. Oh, there's a creature. Look at that. I can feed it ferrite dust. <laughs> All right, so normally you can scan for materials, but I can't yet. Because I haven't found my ferrite dust. Scanner is critically damaged. And uh, before it was iron. That's cobalt. That is dihydrogen. I've got a little jetpack, by the way. No ship over there to duck into. Huh, I guess that's a new challenge in this game of uh, not having your ship immediately by you. Alright, if we can find something resembling ferrite dust real quick. Generally the plants were all carbon before. What are you? You're chlorine. That's new as well. Yeah, I'm taking damage. Ooh! <laughs> that plant just whipped me. Alright. What are you? Ferrite dust. Okay, I'm gonna use my little mining beam on it. Get some ferrite dust. Alright, so we've identified what we won't need for that. Hopefully, I'm going to get enough to repair this. Okay, and then now let's go ahead into my exit suit. And, oh, I need sodium for that. Dang it, that was my multi-tool that I can now... Oh, and I only have 40 of 75 of the ferrite dust I need for my scanner. Okay. Oh, boy. Well, let's see if we can repair the scanner real quick, and then we need to find sodium real quick. I'll do my best not to die this first time, but it's, uh, it's not looking good. <laughs> What's up, Felipe Sartori? Excuse me if I don't pay attention to the chat too much right now, because I'm trying not to die straight off. I did not have a ship that I could jump straight into. Oh yeah, and I remember the nuance with the mining beams. Yeah, I'm going to die pretty soon. Okay, let's see if I can now uh, repair the scanner. Uh, return. Okay, I can. What do I gotta do to repair it? That should be it, right? Oh, here. Repair it. Okay. Get out of there. Scan. And we want sodium, which should be like NA. I see O2, C plus, H. There's sodium. Let's see if we can get to it in time before we die. That's fine, if we have to start over again, <laughs> we'll do. Oh, uh, and that's it. <laughs> Life is pleasant. Death is peaceful. It's the transition that's troublesome. How are you liking the TPS? Remind me what that is. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> What's up? Okay, so I'm back. And uh, it has... Aha! Starship signal detected. There's a grave over there. And... Oh, there's my starship. It's up there. 609... Uh, something away. Do I have a cure, uh, option of using something other than third person? That's a very good question. Um, so let's check that out. So, we got mouse smoothing volume. How's the volume, you guys? Should I turn it down? Should I turn it up? These are controllers. HUD, base sharing on, damage numbers on, temperatures and C. Uh, a few credits, redeem bonus. So it's not one of those. Uh, okay, let's go back. Graphics options. Full skin, primary. V-Sync, anti-aliasing. Motion blur. I don't think we want motion blur. And all this. 
So we should definitely have all these on high. Um do, 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 do. I'll leave that alone. Text detail high. We'll turn shadow detail high. White shafts off. Max FPS. Let's put that up to 60. Okay. So let's apply all that. A restart required. Okay. Um, I don't see. It. Supposedly the third person view is optional. It's the controls. So here we go. Forward, backward, left, right, swim up, swim down. So space is swim up, Q is swim down. Interact, E. Player deconstruct is mouse three. Okay, maybe that's it. Melee, scan, activate torch, activate zoom mode. Okay, so middle mouse button doesn't seem to be doing anything and scroll forward with it scroll back with it press it um, yeah I don't know how to get out of third person I actually kind of would like to um, because before it was only first person and I like being able to get in and out of third person but I don't um, necessarily want to be in it all the time this is uh, plutonium. Oh, it's condensed carbon. It's changed. All the materials have changed from before. Um, okay, so we were after sodium. So over there. So we wanted to repair our hazard suit. I guess it might have been repaired in the death. Ooh, yeah, this little over the shoulder thing. It's a little difficult. I do think the music might be a little loud. So let's turn that down. You guys let me know how it is for you. Let's turn that down to 50. Mutualistic Annihilator backup. Okay. Uh, hopefully that's in-game and you're not playing permadeath. Um, how do we do this? Controls. Player deconstruct. Doesn't seem to do anything. Alright. I guess we've got to be in third person for the moment. I'm a little worried about those guys. They seem okay so far. Let's get up to our ship. Die hide. Okay. Collect a little bit of that. Like some goodies laying around here. Yeah, there's kind of like a delay when you turn yourself around in the third person here. Let's see what we got in here. Some oxygen. What do we get from that? New entry, guide entry unlocked, life support. Press P to read more. Your exosuit's life support system must be kept powered to avoid user damage. Life support systems allow you to move around the planet. Sprinting and using the jetpack will drain life support power. Life support systems are recharged with oxygen, oxygen capsules, or life support gel. Oxygen can be harvested from plants on every planet and may be detected in other flora. Using the analysis visor, oxygen capsules can be crafted from carbon and oxygen and offer the most efficient way to carry life support. All right, when it's in short supply, life support gel can be made in an emergency from dihydrogen. Pressing C will activate the scanner. Locating, locating nearby planetary oxygen, systems can be recharged from the exosuit inventory or via the quick menu using X. Okay. And there's, oh, okay, that's my quick menu. All right, and then what's in here? Music is a bit loud. Tell me if it's better now that I've turned it down. Uh, rusted metal. Okay, let's transfer that to my uh, exosuit. Yeah. 
I really do want to figure out how to get out of third person now that they've given to me. <laughs> and notice on my backpack there, we've got um, a little meter. So the one on the left must be telling me my radiation protection. And the blue one uh, must be my health. Um, so you guys can see how I'm doing there. I guess that's for multiplayer, so you can see how other players are doing. Before, these red things were plutonium, and they were what you powered the ship with. Whoop. That thing's scary. All right, so I gotta look out for these little coiled up things. Here, what's this? Is this still thomium? No, now it's an oxygen-rich plant. Okay. Where was my ship? Right up there. Let's go up there. Let's see what's going on with that. You avoid any of those whip plants. Awakening starship signal received. Locate and investigate the starship. And again, let's uh, look what we need to do to prepare our exosuit so we can give it a little sodium okay we got that up again so we got to make sure to stay up on sodium sodium nitrate or ion battery so definitely looks like there's going to be a bit of a learning curve here we got a creature there Let's see i think my there is a scanner thing I thought the right click did it. Oh no, it was F. No analysis visor installed. Okay. Some ships going there. So those aren't going to be actual players. That's the sort of NPC effect. This creature doesn't seem to be hostile. So that's good. Let's do another scan here. There's some sodium on my way. Actually, there's sodium all over the place. Let's get some of that. So that seems pretty important. Keep us going there. And then we got stuff here as well. I remember these as little checkpoints. Little save game spots. We could save and charge. Sail Dale. I discovered this, even though somebody obviously left this stuff here. <laughs> I discovered it. Health at maximum. Okay, that's a little health recharge. These generally seem to have rusted metal. What's in here? Atlas pass required. I do not have an Atlas pass. Multi-pass required. All right, this was the ferrite dust. Let's grab some more of that. There's sentinels on the planets that if you, uh, depends on the planet. Um, some of them are more forgiving than others. Like the sentinels are on different levels of aggressiveness. But if you harvest too much from a planet, the sentinels come after you and try to kill you. All right, let's see where the sodium is again. Grab some of that. And keep our exosuit charged. Or our hazard protection. Ooh, look at you. So the animals are procedurally generated too, so you can end up getting some pretty weird stuff. They supposedly have improved their AI for this version of it. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, that's the little whip plant. Just try to stay away from that. Can we kill it? Yeah, and we got some oxygen from it. Alright, still need to be going towards our ship. 
Yeah, so there's a bit to get used to here. Radiation protection in this new version of it. And I run out of stamina when I sprint. What's up, the dragonflies? Welcome. To me checking out no, no Man's Sky for the first time in two years. So when this came out, it was definitely a $60 game. So triple A price. Um, all the updates since then though have been free, so I didn't pay anything else for the update today. Um, so hopefully it works out and it's all ends up being worth it. I definitely got my 60 bucks worth of time out of it originally. Okay, so here is our starship. And the starship we're gonna have to repair, but this is our way around and off the planet. Radiant Pillar BC-1, my starship. So we can get in it. And it's online, Atlas connection intermittent. Launch thrusters offline, pulse engine offline. My exosuit has directed me to a crashed starship. The controls react to my touch, and I can only assume it belongs to me. <laughs> I assume it belongs to me, <laughs> but I have no memory of it, no sense of a before. Let's read the log. You can only see orbs for the other people. Yeah, that's if they're not in your party. Um, I've heard different things like up to four, up to 16 people can be in the co-op mode with you. Repair ship systems. Self-guided repair protocols initiated. But yeah, if you see someone else in the world that's not in your party, they are a glowing orb still at this point. All right, initiated. Pulse engine. Critically damaged. So to fix the pulse engine to get us across the galaxy or the universe, we need hermetic seal and metal plating. And then we can pull that up here too in the, our tab inventory. So we gotta fix the pulse engine, hermetic seal, and then the launch thrusters need pure ferrite and dihydrogen jelly. Okay. So yeah, this is all new, um, and there was something said about a um, needing to uh, make a refiner too here, a refinery for some things. So uh, I'm going to have to get used to the new materials, the new crafting of things. My rocket launcher seems fine, my photo cannon seems fine, my deflector shield seems fine. So I have to figure out what I need to make hermetic seal and what to make, how to make metal plate, plating how to make pure ferrite. All these things look like they might need to be refined to be made. Um, for my exosuit, I've got quite a bit of slots here, which is good. That's more than it started off with before. Um, got my stuff. Can we charge this up? Technology recharge. Okay, very good. All right, so I got a lot to learn here. Starship multi-tool my mining beam gets charged with carbon Technology recharge. okay um give me one sec folks i've got a tea kettle on that's boiling over um i'll be right back
monkeys in space. <laughs> hey, Paul and Tun Tun and O'Reilly. What is up? Yeah, so I'm trying to figure out all the new stuff here. <laughs> Things have changed. Got third person, which I don't know how to get out of. <laughs> Not complaining too much yet. It's a little awkward playing in it, though. I would rather get out of it at the moment. But uh, the only key seemed to be uh, middle mouse button. It doesn't do anything at the moment. Can I press it? Scroll it? Yes, we are forever in third person. <laughs> this, I remember, we can't check out until we fix it. It needs sodium and chromatic metal. And chromatic metal is another new one. So we're going to need to make a refinery, apparently. According to um, someone here, Tun Tun, said we need a refinery. So I don't know how to make that. <laughs> Wreaking havoc. Yes, Arali's going to jump into it tomorrow and check it out, too. If anybody knows how to get out of third person, let me know. And, uh... Yeah, we gotta figure out how to make this refinery thing, too. Ooh, look at that. We got a ring planet right up there. And more spaceships going over. It's actually quite busy here, it seems like. Not abandoned at all. So yeah, I don't have an analysis visor. Let's see. I guess I'll have to pick one of those up. 24 slots, though. It's a lot more than it used to start with. The starship. I'm just looking for clues on how to make a refinery. Okay, the starship technology can make four slots. Waveform Focuser N56P. You definitely want to upgrade your multi-tool as you go along. Get more slots for more cool stuff in it. In the exosuit, general, technology, cargo, high capacity inventory with one slot. Zero slots. Okay. General. Alright, I don't see anything about a refinery in here. So that must be something that I have to figure out as I go along. Let's loot this area and see what we can get. Have you tried pressing the third person button? <laughs> uh, tell me where it is and I'll press it. I'm a born button pusher. All right, here's the distress beacon. Scenario iteration 23118766 1T. Transferred, deleted. Probable boundary separation failure. Vessel 16, empty. Sentinel intervention. Deliberate transfer, unknown. No connection. Awaiting fresh iteration. Containment prepared. This is broadcast. Okay. I'm looking pretty cool there, all red. Anomaly is compliant. <laughs> I guess that's me. <laughs> so helpful you are. Of course it would be the third person button. So there is a thing over there, it's a grave, uh, we'll probably want to go check that out pretty soon. It's got the No Man's Sky symbol on it, so that bodes well. More ferrite dust. We're definitely going to want to make the uh, refinery so we can get the pure ferrite. Crafting! Press P. Aha! Oh, okay, here's the things that we may need to know right here. So. That was the survival basics. Um, crafted products. Okay, so to make metal plating, it's crafted for, uh, from ferrite dust, nanotubes, oxygen capsule. So we can do a fair amount of crafting here to start with. So we pin the formula and craft metal plating craft item from blueprint Doo -doo 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 -doo. 64 out of 50 i got that 
It says, did it put it in my um, inventory slots? That's what it looked like it was going to do. And then you got to put it in your inventory to craft it. I think that's what I remember happening too. So, let's do that again. Craft item from blueprint. Do. Okay. Sorry if I fumble a little bit here in the beginning, guys. It's figuring out how this all works. Um, I don't see it pinned in my inventory to craft from. Unless it's in a different thing. That's not how you do it. Well, I'm open to tips. Okay, so we gotta go back to P. Do, do, do. Guide. Crafted. Metal plating. Pin formula. Do, 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 do. Click an empty space in the inventory. Oh, okay. I will try that. Thank you. So, here we go. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Here we go. We can pin it like that so it's the metal plating in there and now oh to craft it i think we just crafted one we need more ferrite dust and for the starship let me see so okay we only need one of those now do i have a recipe for hermetic seal Pure ferrite and dihydrogen jelly. Once we figure all this stuff out, we will be cruising. Do dihydrogen jelly. We can. Um, but I don't see one for that other guy. The uh, what? The hermetic seal. We must need to learn that one still. Go back to that. These are the raw materials that we know so far. Crafted products. Technology. Analysis visor. Okay, we gotta craft carbon nanotubes from carbon in order to make that. So yeah, they added a whole new level of depth to the crafting system. This is all new. Now, which is why I'm stumbling on it a little bit right now. On turn the pages. Okay. Component. Okay. Trade items. Okay, so here's where we make our carbon nanotubes. Uh, we need to make some more carbon. We don't need any more of those. I think that's all we have there for products at the moment. All right. Gather carbon. Progress, zero of 50. Okay, so let's go check out the grave, see if that offers us any recipes or whatever. We gotta recharge up our radiation protection with some sodium. <laughs> so yeah, everybody's learning this new stuff together right now because a lot of this stuff has been added. I believe most plants will give you carbon. See how my, uh, that bar goes up for the mining beam? If I don't let it max all the way out, then, um, I don't have a cooldown time. I'm using my thing. What's up, Roberto? Uh, and this is the dihydrogen. We're gonna need that, the dihydrogen jelly. <laughs> Bunch of new lingo to learn here. Hopefully I'm not gonna anger the sentinels. Just collecting stuff along the way. Let's do a little, little scan. Some 
sodium over there, some hydrogen over here. So dihydrogen crystals seem to be all over the place. These blue guys. And we get some more ferrite dust. more carbon. Oh, this is salt. Am I collecting along the way? No, that's just damage. Okay. I got 45 salt. Getting some carbon. Go into utilities menu to change view. Not there. Utilities menu. Where is my utilities menu? And then, oh, these must be currencies. Quicksilver, nanite, cluster, and units. Um, okay, I'm looking for the utilities menu. Portal glyphs, technology, crafted products, raw, new features, upgrading your equipment. Visit the marketplace above most space stations to find a wide array of merchants. Sound effects could get turned down a little bit. Okay. <laughs> My wonderful MP voice. <laughs> new features. Okay, so that was upgrading the equipment. Recipes and blueprints. Trying to find it. Thank you. Options. So let's go back and turn sound down. So we'll turn the sound effects down to 50 as well. Cool. Um, okay. Oh, wait. There was a redeem bonus content. What's that? Redeem, Horizon Omega ship. I'll take it. <laughs> Negotiate price, compare starship price, leave, leave the starship alone. That's my current one. That's the new one. It's got 16 slots. It's got a phase beam, doesn't have rocket launchers, um, but what the heck, it's my bonus content, I'll take it. So I guess I just got my new ship, that was from my uh, pre-purchase two years ago. <laughs> Alright, we're going to go over here, we still need to get enough carbon to make the nanotubes for our visor, because that will uh, allow us to scan things a little bit better. Paul is working on... Um, Finding the utilities menu, I appreciate. I think we've already been here. Oh, this is actually a portal terminal. Remember these? You can use this to buy stuff. Register. <laughs> you got to register for everything nowadays. All right. Hmm. While we're here, let's see how many carbon nanotubes we can make at this point. So we go here, right? And we do this. We pin it. Which I did. Okay. Radiation protection. I'll get this worked out soon enough. Okay, so we want to build them. Okay, we got one. Change stack size, cycle, switch inventory. So there's got to be a way. It says if I press X, it pins it, but it doesn't pin it. It takes me over here. 
Um, <laughs> get all this figured out. You don't need to pin it. Try the X button. I will. Okay, so here. Craft more. There we go. And how many do we need to make the um, the thingy we're making? I'm trying to make the visor. Isn't here? It was. Do, do, do. Crafted products. Technology. Okay. Analysis visor. We just needed one. Okay, so we should be able to make that now. And that was in the exosuit. Oxygen recycler. No. All right, soon enough, all this stuff will be second nature. Made the nanotubes. Where's the visor? How do I make it? Doesn't seem to be in products. The multi tool. Oh, it's in the multi tool. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Aha! There it is. So now we can make that. Okay, now we have that. Thank you. So now we can do this. And this. You can scan things. P like a Lamiti. <laughs> like Lamiti. <laughs> uh, yeah, and supposedly when you scan a certain number of creatures on the planet, there's an achievement for that. Alright. View discovery. So, N potassium, our radiation protection is falling, let's deal with that real quick. Exosuit, hazard protection, technology is recharged. Okay, so he said try pressing X, oh gestures, see Q, E, navigate, select. Oh, okay, those are my, my gestures. If I can... How do I scroll through this? QE. QE. There we go. I can wave. I can point. Thumbs up. Nope. Help. Need resources. Sit down. <laughs> Let's sit down for a minute. This is all very exhausting. Okay, so that was gestures. Okay, and then we can navigate through here. Photo mode. Recharge equipment, summon vehicles, utilities. There it is. No. Okay, let's try that again. Uh, go through here. So, I pressed F, F to select it, but that didn't seem to do anything. Uh, go through here. F. Aha! Change secondary weapon. Toggle torch, toggle camera, view. There we go. Paul, you're the man. You are now in first person. Hello. We can feed that. <laughs> All right, where's that little No Man's Sky icon, the grave we were headed for? All right, we're getting this figured out. Lots of new stuff. New guide entry unlocked. Making discoveries. Pressing P to read more. We're going to skip that for now. And the cogwheel. Yes, we got it. 
Use Google. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, I could Google, but that kind of ruins the immersion here. I run out of stamina pretty quickly. Hopefully there'll be an upgrade for that. Let's analyze these guys. Alright, it's an elderly one, unknown gender, highly observant, eats pollen, 63 kilograms, respires inorganically. Now we know, something just whipped me. Okay. Oh, oh, that's my grave. Okay. That's when I died previously. Okay, so that's your little cache. Um, when you die, you can get your stuff back. Good to know. Okay, I was hoping that would be somebody else's grave and it would unlock something for me. Just a little scan. Stuff around here. Carbon, oxygen, sodium, stuff. Seems like we have a very strong diet for sodium. Get some more of that. Keep our radiation protection up. There it is. Patch metal plating onto the pulse engine. Okay, we need to do that. Um, soon enough. Okay, so that grave was a bust. Well, not exactly. I mean, it was like, you know, what we needed to get a little bit of our stuff back to know that when we die, we can get our gathered inventory back. But I guess let's head back to the ship and we're gonna just focus on figuring out how to get it repaired since it seems that there's not Something else we need to unlock by finding out here. I'm a little overwhelmed at the mi at the moment with the amount of new stuff to learn, um, but I'm sure that won't last too long. It looks so much better than the original. Yeah, apparently the textures are much better now, and there's been a whole graphics overhaul. I mean, part of its whole, uh, the whole thing it was going for is looking like a 60s sci-fi novel cover. And it definitely has achieved that aesthetic pretty well. I'm kind of collecting some stuff as I go along here. Apparently we're gonna need that for our life support systems. I would like to increase the field of view a little bit, if I could, but I don't think there's a thing for that. Salt. Times 6, times 10, times 12. Alright, we don't need to break it completely. We still didn't learn how to make pure ferrite yet. A little crabby thing. Feed it ferrite dust. Okay. Now it's my buddy. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Look at you. Is the volume of the effects better now, crackers? At 50%. Ooh, that gets used up quick. So let's get up here and charge that up again. All right, we got quite a bit of sodium at this point. Life support. Okay, we can recharge that too. Excellent.
kind of busy here for a abandoned planet. It sure is a lot of stuff. A lot of traffic. We must be near an airport. All right, so once we can get flying, that'll open up a whole nother aspect of the game. Okay, so close enough to our ship now. This is the one that needs metal plating. So we can go ahead and... All right. Now how do we do this? Cannot build the missing components. Hermetic seal. Where's some information on how to do a hermetic seal? So it's not there. Let's get back out of here. Let's go to the P menu. And I guess the guide. Crafted products. That looks kind of like the hermetic seal there. But we haven't learned it yet. So how do we learn new products? Do we have to go somewhere to learn it? Is it unlocked somewhere else on the map? But I'm pretty sure that's the thing we need to know right there. Simpler art style, more polygons. It says brain flash, yeah. Okay, so we need to figure out how to learn new crafted things. So we'll have to get there. Hmm. Okay. And then what else did we need to fix? We needed to fix the... We prepared the metal plating. We need the hermetic seal. For this, we need pure ferrite and dihydrogen jelly. So, dihydrogen jelly, I think we can make. Pure ferrite, not necessarily. All right, let's see if there's any of these, can we do that? So, if we go in here, okay, we can make dihydrogen jelly. I don't know how much we need. And then can we make pure ferrite? I don't see it here. We can make metal plating. We can make warp cells and ion batteries. And yeah, I don't see pure ferrite, which I'm assuming we need a new refinery for, but we don't know how to make that either. So we might have to run around on foot for a while still before we can do too much stuff. Um, let's see, so, for repairing this, okay, we're ready to repair that, excellent, no, that one, okay, so we have launch thrusters, um, we just need the pure ferrite, okay, so those are the two things holding us up, is pure ferrite and the hermetic seal, neither of which I have a clue how to do at this point. <laughs> oh gosh. Is it giving me any missions? Any clues? I've got a map of little stuff up there. That goes to a cogwheel. Let's see. Damage machinery. Let's try to repair this. Input terminal. Chromatic metal. Where did we get that? Not build. Missing components. Um, okay. Chromatic metal. Maybe our refinery is going to come out of here. We can figure out how to do chromatic metal. Now, I don't remember that being on here either. Raw materials. Crafted products. It's not there. So maybe I need to collect resources that I haven't collected yet. And that will open 
up things like chromatic metal? Who knows? Who knows? Okay, so some little puzzles here in the beginning. Just to figure out how to do this stuff. So let's scan and look for stuff we haven't seen. So we've found O2 before. We found sodium before. Hydrogen, sodium, hydrogen. Ooh, what's this? Didn't notice this. That looks like a place where I could find things. That looks like an outpost. All right. Did not notice that initially. Radiation protection. Boy. Yeah, we go through radiation protection pretty quickly. Excellent, crackers. Thank you. We're gonna keep up our sodium, high sodium diet here. Creatures, I think we scanned all you guys, right? Yeah, discovered by monkey puzzle. Despite the outpost and all the ships and sentinels, I discovered it, me. <laughs> all right, let's see. Dihydrogen jelly. Advanced ion battery. That has to be good. And rusted metal. Okay. That is dark. Oxygen rich plant. Lots of oxygen. Before, those used to be thomium. So, probably go in there, we're gonna meet an NPC. Let's go over here real quick. Exhausted, wait for stamina to recharge. I'm not good at waiting for stamina to recharge. Let's turn the light on. Oh, I'll turn it off. On. Save point. The great Plains of Looney Anon. <laughs> They're great. Nothing in there. Sodium. What are you? Call starship. Oh, I could call my starship here. Navigation data required. All right, let's go in here. Yeah, I better go to sleep before the creepers show up. Right? Lots of goodies just laying around. Don't mind me if I loot your stuff. Oh, reinforced door. It's locked. Starship repair. Partially complete. Yeah. You know about that. So I'm gonna have to bust into here, which is gonna bring the Sentinels. And uh, I'm not really that well armed at this moment, but it seems like we're stuck in certain ways. So I think we're gonna need to try it. What's up, Mr. Whitey? Just checking out the new No Man's Sky, seeing what we think of it. Maybe I have to scan a down ship for the hermetic seal. That perhaps, perhaps. Yeah. Um, let's repair my my hazard protection. Technology recharge. Keep that going. Let's do my life support while I'm at it. Recharge. And this how's my multi-tool? Yeah, let's get that charged up because we're about to use it. Technology <laughs> recharge. No, I don't even know. Oh, there's a sentinel right there. If I attack this, that's going to get very mad. <laughs> Go away. Nothing to see here. I'm not about to bust in. Nope, nope. I don't even remember if the mining tool can get through here. So I know there was other weapons. Two little photon things and whatever. And I think I might need 
better ones to get in. But we'll try it. I can kill these guys. Uh, I know when you start a fight, you have a certain amount of time to kill them before they call in reinforcements. And then, otherwise, it just keeps escalating. You get these robot dog things that come after you. And then you get these kind of two-legged walkers that come after you. These guys are normally chumps. You can knock them out pretty quick. Depending, some of them can be worse than others. It's checking to see if I've uh, raided the, the planet's resources. But I'm kind of wanting that to go away before I try to blast that door. Again, my mining tool might not do anything on it. What's up, Gage? Just checking this out. Maybe we can kind of... <laughs> it's watching me. I could preemptively shoot it. If you're... Um, there's like a... You're raiding on the, on the planet as well. And if you build it up enough, it'll, things will get very hostile towards you. Go away. I have things to do here that you don't want to see. All right, let's see if we can get away with this. Yep, and that's not doing anything. Yeah, I don't have the right thing to bust in, so this is a bust. But I didn't get in trouble. Alright, so what else can we do? We're a little stuck at the moment. There was that terminal. It'd be nice if I could buy some chromatic m metal or some... Uh, some... Hermetic seals. Keeps reminding me to fix my ship. <laughs> I know all about it. It's right there. Not sure if I got the new ship I bought or not. But it's looking like we need to go on some adventures here Radiation protection in order to kind of proceed. As long as we stay up on oxygen and sodium, it seems like we're going to be able to be all right. What are you? Smoking plant. Yeah, I'm wondering if I find a resource that I haven't found yet, if that will open up crafting. Let's, let's go over the crest here of this hill, see what we can find. Seems like you can navigate pretty steep terrain pretty easily. I feel curious about these smoking plants. These little vents. I think I guess they're just aesthetic. Just salt. There doesn't seem to be anything new here. Oxygen, sodium. Ooh, what's you? Resource deposit. Copper. Terrain manipulator required. Okay, so we found some copper. Yeah, we don't seem to be able to mine it with our mining tool. 
All right, we need the terrain manipulator. I definitely want the terrain manipulator. Right away. So I wonder how much of my cluelessness is about the update and how much of it is about new stuff that's been added. Atlas pass required, Atlas pass required. All right, more, more rusted metal. Eventually, hopefully they'll come into use. Damaged machinery. Pugnium. Can we make Pugnium? I see no Pugnium. We got a lot to learn here. Oh, look, rooms. Building parts. That's what I really wanted to get to. I'm hoping I can get there today where we're actually building something. Window, door, ladder. Oh, and you can build in freighters too. Oh, portable refiner. Here it is. What do we need? Metal plating. Oxygen. Okay, so we can make a refiner. Excellent. Oh, you get it from destroying sentinels. Okay. So we got a craft metal plating. Okay, so... Man, that goes quick. Um, great hazard protection. Sodium. All right, well, let's head back to the ship and make a portable refiner. Or maybe we don't even need to head back to the ship to do that. Um, let me see. We can make the metal plating. We got that. And then what was the other thing that was required for it? Craft portable oxygen. We have that. So we should be able to make that now, right? Access the build menu with Z. Radiation protection. Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, look at that. Signal booster. Portable refiner. Signal booster. It says portable, so I'm assuming that we'll be able to uh, pick it back up. All right. We made one. Sweet. Input, output. Fuel supply. Piece of rechargeable power technology to fuel inverter ensures an even flow of power to autonomous machines. Charge equipment with carbon. Okay, gotta put some ferrite dust in there. Cool. We're gonna put some carbon in there. And now we press E to begin. Hey! <laughs> All right, we're getting somewhere. So now at least we can do pure ferrite. That thing is doing its thing. Middle mouse button, pick it up. Excellent. Uh, now we can transfer that to our exosuit. Okay. So we now we know how we have a portable refinery and we can pick this up. Sweet. All right, we're getting somewhere. So now we're just lacking the hermetic seal. You guys are new, right? I know you're old. You're the like and the meaty. <laughs> I like it the meaty. Are you new? What are you? Deuterium. That is new. Jetpack power surge detected. Well, I think we got a new, uh, new thing there. Jetpack power surge fading. Exosuit system boot. Q. 
gives me a boost. It does not seem like it stored it. Huh. Okay. So that's just like a one-time use thing. Get a little bit of a surge. All right. Where's our ship? It's over there. We're still looking around. We got to figure out the issue of hermetic seals. There's another outpost looking thing up there. Not all of them do you need to break into. So let's go see about that one. Let's see if we can learn anything. Signal booster might show where items are on the planet. That's a very good idea there. Okay. See, that was that menu. Signal booster. We need to make another metal plating. Okay, we're getting the hang of this. And we need some more ferrite dust. Okay, ferrite dust will lead us to the signal booster. See, that's why I'm playing with you guys. Help me figure this stuff out. All right, let's see if that's enough. Hey. Okay, so now we should be able to make that. Yeah. Seems like we have everything. To place it, we just press F. Okay. Go away. Outpost signal detection online. Navigation subroutines online. Exosuit upgrade unit detection online. Locate nearby structures. Input data. Decipher. Let's do that. No? Can I not use it? Hmm. These all seem to be dead. Mwah. What am I missing? I have no idea. All right, well, we have it now. See what this little outpost up here has to offer us. That looks newish. Unless it's more of the Deuterium. I've accomplished a milestone. I've traveled 8,000 nanometers <laughs> or something. <laughs> Microns. What does the little U stand for? 8,000 units. Yes, I know I need to fix my ship. There's a blue thing up here. Yes. Oh, it's another piece of damaged machinery. What does this one want? It wants an output screen. Chromatic metal. Which we don't know how to do. Maybe use it by the outpost. Good idea. There's another outpost. Ships over there. One I saw was like up on a hill somewhere. Let's see what these ones are. Area discovered. Iotisha platform. Region of planet Nopeno Umat. Broken thing. Spinny thing. Oh. Window opening and closing. Aha. Hey, I can go in. Radiation protection stabilized. 
Research specimen. Okay, I guess I took the research specimen. <laughs> Hollow archive. Logs corrupted. Okay. Making this recording in case. Leaving behind in the fabricator might be of some use. Supplies are damaged. Can't find ship. Recover supplies. Spitting. Hey, I have the hermetic seal I need to repair my ship. Ding, ding, ding. We win the money in the spaceship. Excellent. Whoever it was that led me here, whoever left, left this message, perhaps they found themselves in the same situation as I do now. All right. Can I do something with this? I don't know. I have a hermetic seal now. This doesn't seem to be anything. These aren't anything. Well, that's good. Let's go see what's in this one. Encrypted navigation data. Hey, we got one navigation data. Excellent. So that was something we needed a couple times. Can we lay down, take a nap? No. All right, and then we're gonna see if we could um, use our signal booster here. This one wants su superconductive lock. Sodium nitrate, nitrate, which we don't have. That's something we might be able to make. Let's see. Can we make that? I don't see it. Yeah, no. <coughs> A second, folks. Radiation protection. Boy. Let's see if we can make sodium nitrate. Crafted products. So. Yeah, I don't see that. We got sodium, but not sodium nitrate. <coughs> Excuse me. All right. Let's try putting down our signal booster. Okay, I can't do that still, but I can do that. Navigation data loaded, preparing to compare against known frequencies. Select desired frequency range. Scan secure frequencies, scan distress frequencies, scan habitable outposts, scan for artifacts. Um, I'm not sure. Let's do... <laughs> All right, Arali. Back to work. Thank you for joining for a while, man. I can't wait to watch you play. Can't wait to play with you. Let's scan... Habitable Outposts. Why not? Whoa! Observatory detected. Over there. Okay, just beyond my ship. Cool. It would be a 15 minute walk if I walk there. Okay, so I think we can pick this up now. The way those windows keep opening freak me out. So I suspect that those um, little na in navigation data things were one time use. Yeah. So I'll have to find more of that. 
So this doesn't work without these. Okay. And then, can I make that? Assemble components. Use to craft in inventory slots. Craft item from blueprint. Okay. So I don't think I can make that. Let me double check. So it's... I don't have a blueprint for it. Hermetic seal. So I can make hermetic seals now, I think. So I, did I get a blueprint or did I get the actual hermetic seal? But it's just made out of carbon, which I have zero out of 30 of. Okay. So it looks like I can build those now, but it doesn't look like I can build the navigation data. Alright, well let's see if with what we have now I can go ahead and export my ship, which was over here. And we need to get some carbon on the way. up one of those guys. Ferret dust is always good. We might need 30 carbon for the hermetic seal. Grab a few things on the way. Oh, one of those guys. Ouch. Okay, and if we get our ship working, we'll go check out the observatory. See what we can do with that. But my number one goal to check out here is the um, terraforming tool. And building. Mm-hmm. Always falling. We're managing to stay alive now, though, after our first unfortunate death. <laughs> Always good to start a game by dying. Keeps you humble. A lot of cool looking plants. And every planet is different, so... This is just one. As soon as we get flying, we can check out other planets, no problem. Let's get a little bit more carbon. A little bit more ferrite dust. Alright, let's deal with that. We need more oxygen. Where do I get oxygen from? Right here. The oxygen-rich plants, that's right. And then there was something with that dihydrogen gel, too. Sodium. Oxygen. And any more oxygen-rich plants? much at the moment. What's this? Copper. More copper. 
Terrain manipulator required. So this is the new area. Got some stuff there. What are you? Oh, you're a broken machine again. So far, I haven't had any luck fixing broken machines. I'm so bad at spotting those. Let's get some free free stuff. Dihydrogen times seven times fourteen. Health at maximum. Radiation protection. Void. Very technology module. Look at that. I can't dig yet. That's interesting. Oh, and look at this. It's one of these things. Alien stuff. Wisdom of the Corvax. There's like three alien um, species. And Corvax is one of them. Corvax might be... I don't remember. Are they the, like, android ones? Bokidim, Bokidim. <laughs> yun, yun, yun. All right, the wisdom of the Corvax. The stone resonates, producing a sound that fills my mind. The vision begins to take shape. A robotic life form turns towards me. Light steams from their metal shell, forming a glowing fog that surrounds us both. They gesture towards me. Accept knowledge. The name Corvax floats in my vision, an echo of the strange vision I just experienced, a word in this alien tongue, is seared into my brain. Oh, that's right. These are like little Rosetta stones. I learned the Corvax word for rare. Yeah, so when I when I interact with... Oh, what attacked me? Oh, it's just the radiation. So, let's repair that. Um, yeah, when I interact with NPCs, they're going to be talking in their alien languages. So the more of their language I learn, the better I'll understand them when we're making trades and stuff like that. So yeah, you pick up the language word by word like that as you go along. Radiation protection, boy. <laughs> All right, I've traveled 10 Ks. Hello. So I think I can scan these plants too, if I really cared. Learn the names of each one of them. And I think that the, oh, units received. I got units for that. Okay. So that's cool, I can make money. Scanning things. Oh, look at that. Look at that. I've got 6,900 units. I also earned some nanite clusters somehow. Okay, so scanning is a way to make money. So that's not bad. And we'll need that when we get to um, any kind of trading outpost, right? So I guess it's worth our time to analyze everything. A lot of this I knew two years ago, but it's been a while. All right, where's my ship? Right there. Analyze. Yeah, so I guess my science data is worth money to somebody. Yemplitus. Making money. Discovered. I've already been here. Yeah, so I did get the new ship I traded for. No, Joe's Crystal Folly. So this is the ship you got when you pre ordered two years ago. I did do. I'm 
in it. And then, uh, let's... Yeah, yeah. I know. Yes. Request assistance. Oh, okay. Okay. Um, anyway, we have it now. So it was telling me where the hermetic seal was, but you and I, we didn't see that before. Okay, so now we can do that and do that. Hey, we have a pulse engine. So that's good in the air. And then we need to charge it up. We can charge it up with tritium or pyrite. Neither of which we have. Okay. And tritium. Abundant in interstellar asteroid fields. So, okay, we have to mine that in space from asteroids. And then pyrites we can get from desert environments, which apparently we're not in. Okay, and then to fix the launch thrusters, we now have our pure ferrite. Excellent. So now our ship is working to charge the launch thrusters. We need Starship launch fuel. Oh, that's that's what you make from the dihydrogen. Or we need um, uranium found on planets with a radioactive environment. It is radioactive here, but we haven't seen any uranium. But I think we could make the... Um, dihydrogen stuff right this so if we make a metal plating uh, we can make that so let's make a metal plating and then now let's make launch fuel excellent and then we do this and we do that hey right on well let's make one more launch fuel in case we need it later we don't have enough ferrite dust um, so that's something good. What's up, Excalibur Jones? Can you try making an underground parking for your ship with the terrain manipulator? I got to figure out how to get the terrain manipulator. Something I haven't learned yet. These are all consumable. Life support gel. Synthesized from rocket fuel crystals and carbon. Temporary boost to life support system. Okay, I understand that now. So that's if we can't find the oxygen. We can make one of those. Um, I don't want to make it yet. Let's see if we can find the terraforming thing in the guide. So, technology... Yeah, I think these are all the things that we can make so far. And I don't see terraforming tool yet. Bolt caster. Looks cool. Generalist weapon attachment for the multi-tool. Access fire mode by pressing G and fire weapon with the left mouse click. So we might need that to bust into things. I'm pretty sure that was the thing from before. Can we make this? Refined chromatic metal. Ah, here's how we make chromatic metal. It's uh, in a refiner from the stellar metals, copper, cadmium, emerald, and indium. So we are a ways from that. We've only seen copper so far. We gotta keep our eye out for cadmium, emerald, and indium. And then it also needs three nanotubes, which are not a big deal. Okay. So we can make a bolt caster but uh, we need a lot of stuff and we can't even get these before we have the terraforming tool. No insanity. If this update is good, maybe I'll finally get this game. Hello, man. How are you doing? They added a lot of stuff. Yes, they did. So there's a pretty steep learning curve to get going here. Um, but we can 
do stuff. So, what is the key to launch? Is it W? All right, we got to figure out how we launch our ship. <laughs> so, let's see. Aha, there's a whole nother, no? Quick menu, change sec sec secondary weapon, reload. Doo -doo, sprint, fire weapon, fire secondary weapon, reload, change weapon mode. Chain secondary. What about our ship? How do we take off? The build menu is Z. Right, we learned that. Thrust is W. Break is... Oh, here, flight controls. Okay. I thought it was W. Yeah. Break, boost. Initiate landing, E. Exit ship E free look. Oh, okay. There's a free free look in the ship. Excellent. Pulse engine is space. Galactic map is M. Accelerate is W. Where's takeoff? Build discard thrust. I guess W. You can boost, you can sprint in your ship. Hey, bum ruler. Thought I would catch what I can of your stream on lunch. Try jumping. Okay. Did you try the third person? Yeah, we actually spent a long time trying to figure out how to get out of third person. <laughs> Which we did. Okay. All right, so if I hold W. Oh, that was it. We're flying. That's free look. I wonder if there's a third person. Whoa. Okay. It's wherever my little cursor is going. Let's go back into third person, maybe in our ship. Let's see. We that was the X menu. Utilities. Select switch starship view. Hey, hey, look at that. Here we go. So, one of the other things they changed in one of the updates was that uh, it used to be you couldn't fly too close to the ground, you couldn't skim the surface. And now you can, but before we take off and go into outer space, let's check out this observatory here. Come in slowly. And press E to initiate landing. All right, so we have a spaceship now in a space game. That is a good thing to get to. <laughs> <clears throat> so much easier controls on PS4. Put inverted flight controls, it helps. And some nice pictures to show you which is which. Okay. Um let's go ahead and exit the ship. On I'm still in first person, so you can have third person and first person independently, both in your ship and here. We reached the destination. This thing needs navigation data. We don't have. We just don't necessarily know how to make. Let's save. <clears throat> yep, spaceship for space game. <laughs> We're advancing. We must always go through the junk. See if we can get any good freebies. We did need some more ferrite dust. Go ahead and grab some of that. Yemplitus. So I have a feeling we're about to see our first NPC. I wonder what those three little lines are there that I'm seeing up in my little uh, navigation thing up there. 
Not exactly sure. Cave mar cave marrow. What did you get from that? Marrow bolts. Okay, that's a new thing. Alright, let's just get a little bit more ferrite dust, and then we'll go check out the observatory. So many people with old saves who have everything in the game. Yeah. I'm starting with a completely new save. I had gotten fairly far. My last one as far as like upgrading my multi-tool and my exosuit and stuff. It seems like this is definitely worthy of starting over again. And I'm sort of starting over again in my learning of it. Plus, I've got four updates to catch up on here. looking real quick for salvageable stuff. More dihydrogen. Alright, let's go on in if we can. Check this out. Yeah, and we get a little break from radiation in these too. Alright. So there's a thing for the observatory. Encrypted navigation data. 12 nanite clusters have been credited to my account. Build bo bolt caster. Refined chromatic metal. Yeah. That took a lot of stuff. <laughs> I remember that. That's my favorite part right there. I can't seem to do anything with those. I can spin all the seats. And does this go anywhere? No. I can harvest plants in here. At least they used to be able to. Alright, we'll... I guess we can go ahead and do this now. Fayette Reflector. I stand at the terminal and watch a beacon from an unknown star endlessly playing itself out on the screen. The pattern seems clear, but what to enter? Oh, right, a little pattern thing. So, 2738, 3827. So, it looks like it's just moving forward. So, the next one would be 8273. I discover a location within the distant stars. Whoa! <laughs> Signal detected. <laughs> Okay. So, that looks like the symbol for um, the uh, ancient ruin off planet. Okay. Yeah, for alien stuff. I like those little Rosetta stones, but um, I guess that's a whole ancient ruin. Maybe learn more than one word there? Who knows? <laughs> I stopped playing it after launch. I was waiting for the groundbreaking update, which is next. That's an ugly green table. <laughs> it is pretty ugly. All right, let's see what's over here. That's red, which makes me think I'm not going to be able to open it. Atlas Pass V2 required. Yep, no Atlas Passes yet. I am a, a noob all over again. All right, so we know about a ancient thing on another planet. Uh, let's just cruise around here a little bit more. Maybe it's time to fly off. Go somewhere else. I'm tired of this old planet. Time for a new one. Let's get what we can. Slowly getting up to speed on this. Terraforming tool is definitely the big thing we need. So we can start uh, harvesting some of the raw materials. Do another save. Not a bad idea. And I think when you get in and into the ship and out of the ship, that's a save as well. Let's scan some more things for money. Make some credits. When we get to a space station, we'll definitely need some credits. Yeah, I heard you get it early too. I haven't come across it yet. 
it seems like I can't mine without it. You used to be able to mine just with this tool, but apparently they've changed that. And I'm really looking forward to the terrain manipulator because supposedly I can manipulate all the terrain. Duh, but <laughs> that's a new thing. Which I'm really excited about. That's something I really miss in Ark, is being able to manipulate terrain. Anyone who comes came from Minecraft, that's what that's all about, is manipulating terrain. All right, well, we've been going about two hours so far. We're about to leave our first planet. And just doing a little bit more scanning. Resource gathering. Yeah, there's creative mode. I'm always kind of adverse to creative modes. I like to play the game for real. Especially in the beginning here. When I don't know a whole lot yet. But it would be a good way, I guess, to learn stuff really quick, but still wouldn't necessarily help you learn how to get those things. Yeah, so this is, I guess, the room that was locked to us that needed the Atlas Pass. So, one more thing up on the hill there. Let's go up there. See what that is. Yeah, it's an ugly planet. <laughs> These textures on the ground, though, are better than they used to be. Um, it used to be actually a pretty low res texture for the ground before. So these things are spaceship fuel mostly. Oh, it's unidentified. Let's scan it. All right. So it's kind of going to be a little tiring, but every time I see something unidentified, I should scan it because we make money that way. Yep, Yukovacite. I didn't scan this. At least this time it's ugly on purpose. <laughs> what is the resource next to manure clusters in the inventory? Um, I didn't see manure clusters. A starship is out of range. I, na I need to rename it. No Joe's is Crystal Folly. Definitely got to rename that. Um, but I don't know if I can do it while it's out of range. <laughs> oh, Nanite Clusters. Oh, this is uh, Quicksilver. Who knows? That's uh, Apparently, that's some new in-game currency that you can use to get stuff, trade in for stuff. I don't know how to get it. I don't even know. I guess I got that by picking up that navigation data. This is what I've gotten so far by scanning things. But apparently this is all stuff that you can get um, in game. And that's not, there's no microtransactions or anything like that. Oh, I can rename the ship from here. What's the name of my ship? Um, yeah, monkey. Let me see. What is the name of my ship? Radiation protection. Boring. Let's think about that. You guys, tell me. What we should call it. Oh, look at that. There was indeed something up here. Uninhabited planet, right. I assume I'm in the Euc Euclid galaxy. That's the first one, right? Whispering egg. They have little exclamation points on them. What happens if I shoot a whispering egg? Biological horror detected. Oh my god. <laughs> that was not a good move. 
I think we're gonna die. Maybe not. Wow. Overheat. No. Let's not do that again. <laughs> yeah. Pay attention to those exclamation points. I think there's one more somewhere. Alright, maybe not. Yow. Oh, there's more. Oh my god. <laughs> Bad things. I see all those names you guys are giving me. I'll go back to those in a minute. I gotta um, make sure that uh, don't die here. Okay. Let's kill the rest of the bad things. Did they go away? Are we good? Oh, I can see them up on my thing. See all those little exclamation points? Radiation protection. Boing. Seems like they might have wandered off. They're all over there somewhere. <laughs> right? Oh crap. Oh man, this place is in bad shape. I have a feeling I don't want to touch anything in here. Health at maximum. Ooh, look at that ooze. That doesn't look good. Yeah. Good at all. Can't go in there. Look at this. You don't do anything. <laughs> Can I interact with you? Life support gel. This thing busted out of its containment here. Doesn't seem like I can interact with it at all. After that last experience, I'm certainly not just gonna shoot it. These are just aesthetic. All right. This is a bad place. Whispering egg. Should we shoot it? <laughs> no. <laughs> well, I'm happy I got out of that alive. All right. I think it's time to leave this joint here. All right. What did you guys recommend for my ship? Let me see. I got to go back. I guess I only get the alt tab out of here. Let's see. Primate's Enigma. <laughs> I like that one. <laughs> Monkey Barrel. That's pretty cool too. Starbug, Flash McQueen, Star Child, Space Mount. Uh, what else? E.T. Taxi. <laughs> you guys have a bunch of good names. Black Hole Rider, Ziggy Stardust. Star Rider, Swiss Express, Ato OB. Um, something I'm probably missing what that one is. All right, let's go back here. All right, I liked um, Primates Enigma. Go for that. Okay, we were there. Where's my ship? Ship, ship, ship. There it is. All right. The thing is, you know, there's like so many planets you can go on and on. You don't really have to stick around and exhaust each one. 
Might as well grab some more of these. Oh, my weapon is depleted. All right, so let's charge that up. Carbon or condensed carbon. This is processed from a regular carbon and refiner. A better energy to gram, energy per gram ratio. So it seems like I should use that when possible. All right, how am I doing in general? on um, carbon got 188 carbon I guess is good got 76 dihydrogen as well get a bit more yeah they totally changed the resources which is why I'm a little bit lost All the things aren't what they used to be. There was these blue crystals before. I don't remember what they were. The red crystals are no longer plutonium. But you still see them occasionally. I forget what they are now. Lots of new fancy things to learn. Something's purple, so I'm distracted. It's nothing. It's still purple. Alright, so we could save like this again. Or... I discovered it, even though there's somebody else's equipment there. Or we could jump in and out of here. And that does a save point too. Um, so we were going to rename this. So I like to... Oops. Primates Enigma. <laughs> Thank you, Nonsanity. Nonsanity is a little friend, so... In honor of him watching the stream. There it is. It's now Primates Enigma. How does the co-op work exactly? Well, when I started the game, I had an option to join a game. So if someone who knew me joined, I, I suppose they'd have to be like a friend of mine on Steam. Then uh, they could um, join my game. And they'd be here, I guess. And then, But apparently once you join in, then you can go off on your own if you want. I don't know how it works with save games, if you can have your own save game within my game, or you'd have to come back to my save game. These are unanswered questions. Um, I'll have to wait until some of my friends play with me. Have you tried searching for altered carbon? <laughs> it's shaped like a naked woman in a Ziploc pack. I will look for that. Yeah, this drop-in co-op. Yeah, so, all right. Oh, now you tell me W to take off. Fine. Whee! There were some flying things. I just hit something. Ooh, this is a little crazy to fly. Okay, you gotta keep your cursor. In a circle. Alright, let's see how fast we can go. That's what shift on. Not very fast. sure how much I'm burning through fuel. All right, let's go out into space. What do you say? We'll head towards, ooh, the ring planet. It's got the alien thing on it. Hold shift to engage boost. I discovered the Hoveni system in the Euclid galaxy. <laughs> All right. So this is me flying. Navigational data received. Navigational data received. Excellent. Um, there was uh, something else too. There was like a booster. You used to be able to press 
Let's see, let's go where I'm not gonna run anything into, into anything. You should be able to press A and D. Oh, go really fast. Break. <laughs> that still works. And then, uh, let's see, can we shoot? Can. Apparently we get some resources from these guys. We're getting silver. Now we gotta be careful not to run into it. But yeah, we're doing some space mining. So, I guess without the terraforming tool, this is another way to get some of these metals. Not sure these are all the same. Ooh, it's a little wonky to control this thing. Get anything? More silver? Let's be careful here. I'll get the hang of this. I guess the trick is just to stay with inside the circle. I need to be. Gold! We got gold! So these do have different materials. Overheat. Recycle weapons. So, phase beam photon cannon. Ooh! Oh, we got some tritium. Excellent. We needed that. For fuel or something, right? Gold? Can I try space combat? I don't know how ready I am for that. Also, there doesn't seem to be anybody to combat yet. Silver? I'm just getting some resources here, both to fuel my ship and maybe to make some of that chromatic metal. what's available in the asteroid belt. So far we've gotten silver, tritium, and gold. It seems to be kind of random. No way to really tell what you're going to get. Every box is a surprise. Phase beam seems to bust these up quicker. I don't know if you get the same amount of stuff as if you do the uh, photon cannons. Let's try that. Tritium. Space. Indeed. Alright, we'll do a little bit more of this. Seems to be where we can get things from. What's the copper? Yeah. Very delicate controls. All right, let's uh, see again what we needed. My name bolt caster, I guess, was the thing for the chromatic metal. Um, copper, cadmium, emerald, and indium. indium. We didn't get any of those just now. <laughs> um, primary missions, awakenings, find us, hear us. The crash ship responded to my commands. Confirming my suspicion that it belonged to me, I have repaired the damage taken up at the space, but the cause of my crash is still a mystery. Find the cache. Follow the mysterious signal to learn more. How do we select that? What mysterious signal? All right, we need to do that. But how? I can't click on this. All right, well, that's the mission I'm on. I guess it will keep doing that. Final frontier, indeed. All right, what signals do I have? There is that thing right there. Where'd it go? 
Awakenings. Planetary coordinates received. Follow the coordinates and find the signal source. So we could go there, but I want to follow that little symbol. It says it's off this way. Okay, there it is. Hey, and that's where we're going already. Oh, and I think that is a space station. Let's go there. Charging. Right, we're gonna go to our first space station. Look out for the meteors, the asteroids. The ring planets are new too. Let's go one way straight into nothing. <laughs> Warp to nowhere. So this is going to take a long time. This is going to take 20 minutes. So this is farther than I thought. We can do this. seconds we get to the space station yeah it's a plus d Ooh, we don't want to hit the asteroid okay there it is there's the space station Let's see if we can get there without hitting it This is not where our mysterious signal was, though. Thirteen seconds. Ten seconds.
rock and roll. <laughs> All right. Yeah, we will find a signal source. First, I gotta check out the spaceship, the space station. Hey, there's somebody up there. That's gonna be a Corvax NPC. All right, that's kind of loud. Yeah, yeah. Turn that down a bit more. Yeah, this character editor. There was a thing. Let's see, in the guide, told us about. Do, 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 do. New features. Upgrading your equipment. Recipes and blueprints. There was somewhere it told us what we needed for to edit the character. Um, many products and technologies must be learned before they can craft it. Learn the plans for different technologies and products by visiting merchants in the space station marketplace. Yeah. And then... Um, well, we certainly can't make it yet. Okay, let's see what we can figure out here. Remember, there was always two sides to these things. And, oh yeah, and there's other spaceships that land. And if we had enough money, we could wheel and deal. Whoa. And trade for stuff with the other spaceships. But, whoa, filling up. <laughs> Shoot everyone. Sabotage the, the station. Aha. <laughs> uh -huh. Oh, you can easily see it on station ground structure on the floor. Oh, there's a lot more people in here than there used to be. There used to be just the one NPC. Mathematician, entity Harak. I'm sure we can interact with each one of these. Hello. Welcome. Yeah, I could use my, uh, what was it, X? <laughs> I could, uh, point. No, uh, there. I can, uh, wave. Hi, everybody. <laughs> I'm here. <laughs> and it's put me into third person mode, which I wasn't in before. I just grabbed some stuff laying around here. I want to get back out of the, um, back out of this, we gotta go back over here. What are all our options here? We can summon vehicles, we can recharge equipment, gestures, and camera. Okay. So we want that. Select it. Change secondary whip, toggle torch, toggle camera view. Oh, now it's put me into there. Try that again. Doop, 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 doop. Select. And. There we go. First person. Alright, let's go ahead and filter stuff laying around. <laughs> Got some nanite clusters added to my account. You guys leave anything around for me? Hello, hello, I've come here to steal your stuff. What is this? Station Terminus Teleporter. Teleport unavailable. Allow instantaneous travel between space stations and owned bases. Oh, awesome, so that's how you get back to your base. Um, this is new to me, I never saw one of these before. Check out the character customizer. I will. As soon as I find it. You said it's a round thing on the floor. There's a dude here. Hello. Aha. Uh -huh. The alien's aggressive tone and rough demeanor marked them out as a mercenary 
I hope they are here in some official capacity rather than undertaking a mission. No other options besides me. I go in there and loot his stuff? No. Another guy. Okay. <laughs> so here's the terminal. That is for trading and stuff. We'll look in that in a second. What's this? This seems to be nothing so far. You can also check some stall there. There's a drop for slot upgrade. Here is like the lounge, I guess. That doesn't go anywhere. That doesn't go anywhere. At least it's locked for now. All right, let's go ahead. Oh, that's a little scary. <laughs> Just jump in there. All right, let's check out the terminal. <laughs> that's right, Joe. Sell items, buy items. What can we buy? Metal plating, ion battery, microprocessor, technology module. Okay, S and W. Unstable plasma. Stuff, stuff, stuff. Runaway mold. <laughs> Sounds lovely. Um, but I'm not seeing terraformer. It's really what I want. Uh, if I need any of these things, I don't know yet. Some of them I could buy. Some of them are things I could make already. Okay, so that's not very helpful yet. Eventually, I guess I'll know all these things and what I need from them. I don't see any chromatic metal. Whoop. What happened? Where's the game? They do make the game a comp bit complicated with the new materials. Uh, I think when you progress in the story, you get the upgrades. Yeah, I think I gotta go find that um, mysterious signal. All right, I'm just seeing what is available to be here. Oh, you know what? I should probably sell that rusted metal, I betcha. Yes, yes, yes. Sell items. So, see the things. We can sell dihydrogen, we can sell salt. Oh, and it says also, like, I think the comparative prices to other places. So, this is like below average prices. Um. I don't know what we need those. I'm tempted to sell those. Yeah, let's sell this. Q and E. How do we sell it? Okay, let's click on it. We sold that. Excellent. Um, the rest of this stuff, I don't know if we're gonna need the marrow bulbs, I'm tempted to sell. Let's go ahead and sell those. Hopefully I won't regret that. And let's get out of here. Alright, so... I think we've got... Whoa! The most we can out of this side. So I like... It. Here's a pink guy. We'll interact with the pink guy just for Joe. Okay. I need to get uh, work on my language skills, apparently. Looks at me with interest, their facial lights constrict as they stare deep into my visor. I can't help but feel that countless analytical systems are recording and studying every move I make. So 
So there's things I could do with it, but I don't have any of these things. I could barter with pure ferrite, I could request dialect help with copper, offer a gift with Corvax casing, but I'm poor. <laughs> Sorry, pink guy. Not much to do here. All right. He doesn't speak glass wall. <laughs> Yeah. And there's this other side over here too. Generally, this side, I think, if I remember correctly, you needed the Atlas Pass to get very far in. Or maybe not. This looks totally different. Okay. Can't interact with any of these. These are other people's stuff. Aha! There's a Gek. And a Corvax. Another terminal. That's locked. Let's see if this is the same as the other one. It must be, right? It's the same place. So you think they'd all just be terminals to the same stuff? Yeah, it looks like. Oh, no, it's a little different. Dirty bronze. Grantine. Pugnium. Yeah, that's the stuff that you gotta kill sentinels to get. We should just kill sentinels to get it. So it is a little different in each terminal. Technology module. Okay. But nothing that I know I need or can afford. Search the plant. Alright. I'm gonna loot your plants. <laughs> and okay, let's interact, I guess. So far that hasn't done much for me. Yep. Yichi Yichi Akinol Zorial. Life forms bright green suddenly slows. They tap into their personal data while their facial lights dilate and internal systems crash. Columns of streaming data show their power levels spiraling downward. The life form looks to me for help and then points to my gathered resources with a single slow and desperate movement. It wants my carbon. All right. Slowly inserts the element into a slot in their hip. They partially reawaken and thank me with a gift. 15 nan nanite crest clusters have been credited to my account. My standing with the Corvax has increased. And there uh, was something else too. Got some deuterium or something like that. Try to find the character customizer. I am, I am. When I see it, I'll definitely use it. Okay. Now we're speaking Gek. The small creature is busy adding up trade points when I appear. Their eyes open wide in anticipation of our first contact, and they rub their fingers together greedily. The life form pecks emphatically at the monetary figures on their pad, then bounces up and down. I can't help but notice that they smell amazing. Give units. Apologize for being able to help pat the life form on the head. We'll give it 10 units. Aha! They are thrilled. They give me something in exchange. Okay, what did I get? I got some nanite clusters. Cool. Alright, well, we gotta follow those coordinates pretty soon. I'm supposed to look for the character customizer. That's a scary hole. I don't think I want to go down there. Alright, more interactions. That looks cool. Oh, look, this is like... This guy's selling weapons. So we could upgrade our multi-tool there, probably. Let me check out your encrypted navigation data. Cool. This must be it. This must be it. Appearance modifier. Here we go. Oh, -hoo. all right. Race. We can be an anomaly. We can be a Viking. A traveler. A Gek. Or Corvax. <laughs> what do you guys think? You could be a Gek. I don't know how that looks, really. Anomaly. 
Anomaly, anomaly. Oh, wow. These are all pretty cool. Oh, these are all presets. Okay. The Vikings, these guys were pretty, pretty tough looking. One, two, three. Can I spin around? Rotate camera. No. Wait, let me back in. Okay, oh, rotate camera. Middle mouse button doesn't seem to be rotating. Oh, I just spin it. Okay. A is change camera view. Doesn't seem to do anything. Alright, so. Excalibur Jones wants me to be a geck. I think he was the one who also wanted me to blow up everything. <laughs> Not a game to play if you are a xenophobe. No, no, no. Alright, we were looking through the Viking presets. These guys are ugly. So yeah, this is brand new in this update. This did not exist before. Ooh. These guys are so... Ah, oh, I kind of like that one. <laughs> that one's cool. Ooh. That's cryptic. Ah, pretty. Okay. And I'm sure each one of these is fully customizable, too. I'm just starting by looking through the presets at the moment. I'm kind of tempted to go with one of these spinny head guys. They're pretty good. You vote Traveler. Yeah. Traveler is looking good. I think. And then uh, we could change some things here, too. Oh, we could do head types. Excellent. <laughs> wow. That is E.T. right there. Yeah, it's between that one and that one. Yeah, I like both of these. That one. <laughs> that one. That one's pretty cool. Torso. Colors, markings, torso style. One, two. The bot eyes. Yeah, the bot eyes are cool. Let's see, which one do we like? I guess I like that one. It looks a little bit more styly. Markings. I don't exactly see what markings those are giving me. I, you know, I think I could be white. Although I could do purple now. Oh, you could change. Oh, it's just that part. Okay. It's only the one purple. But sure, we'll do purple. Although, being all white in space would be uh, quite an achievement. Go back to head. The bot eyes. <laughs> okay, we'll do the bot eyes. The torso. I think for now I might leave myself all white because just the ability to stay clean on these planets seems like it would be um, pretty interesting. Armor style. Oh, okay. That one, that one. That one or that one. Oh my. Um, definitely not that. That one actually, I guess, was kind of the lowest impact. Let's do that, I think. Number one for... For which, Bum Ruler? Torso or armor? We got gloves. It does look like a power core. Two... Three... Four... I guess just that one. Legs. So if you guys want to give me numbers for these, make sure you give the number associated with the thing. Leg style. One, two, three, four. <laughs> oh man, those are all poofy. That's either that one or that one. 
I'm cool with that one. Looks kind of padded. Although having gold kneecaps is pretty cool. And then boots. So you like the leg three. Yeah, leg three is all right. Boots. All right, got some runners. Two, three, four. I don't really like any of those. What do Martins do? I guess I'd just go with the runners. I don't like the green in the back of those. I guess I can change that. Or so, so it was like that one. Tertiary color. Well, that's the primary color. Can't change the green, can I? Um, so yeah, then I guess we'll do those. Keeping them all white for now. Um, I guess... What's up, Toves? Not hanging out because I don't want the spoilers. Yeah, I'm just getting the basics going on here. Okay, so we picked the bot eyes. And the uh, he's a traveler. Torso. Let's look at it one more time. Oh, those are the markings. I can't see any difference. That one's kind of cleaner. Oh, I do like the contrast on that one. Uh, yeah, let's not do that one. I'd say either that one or that one. Yeah, it gives it a little contrast. What do you guys think? <laughs> I guess we can change it at will, right? Oh, and there's a backpack. Yeah, one, two, three. They all look the same. Thank you, Toves. All right, let's let's exit. Yes, we'll save it. All right, so here we are. Let's uh, let's see. Let's do the this thing. Yep. <laughs> there I am. We're customized. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> cool. All right, Excalibur. Excalibur. Thank you for joining. And then, okay, so this is an exosuit upgrade chamber. Let's see what we can do in here. Oh, we can buy another slot for 5,000. So we have 15,000. I'm not sure if we need another slot just yet. So let's go ahead and leave out of here, but that's where we get slot upgrades. So this whole side seems to be the character upgrade side. Let's see what this guy has. He's a technology merchant. What's he got to sell? He's got a lot of gibberish. It's pink. Looking good. <laughs> yeah. You love it. <laughs> Lifeform offers me blueprints for exosuit upgrades in exchange for nanite clusters. Excellent. Okay. Okay. What do we got? All right, I don't have enough for most of these. I have 83 nanite clusters. There's a teleport receiver, an economy scanner, phase beam, cyclotron, ballista, conflict scanner, cadmium drive. And I guess that's all he's got. Because I can't scroll up and down. None of those are things that I know that I need yet. Cadmium hyperdrive upgrade. 
Oh, and that's just a blueprint for it. I still need the chromatic metal to make it. Okay, but... So we're learning. We need blueprints to make things. That's a new thing in here. But uh, we're going to skip that. Man, I look handsome. <laughs> Woohoo! I'm going to be a lady alien killer. Wooer, not killer. Um, technology merchant. Vic. Non-sanity. Thank you so much, man. Let's see what I can buy with that buck ninety-nine with the merchant here. Appreciate that. That's awesome. Thank you, thank you. Exosuit upgrades for nanite clusters. Okay. All right, so what do we got here? We've got advanced mining laser, personal force field, waveform recycler, combat scope, pulse spitter, um, and I can't go up and down, so I think that's it. Man, again, non sanity, that's really cool. All right, so not a whole lot I could buy here. I could get the advanced mining laser. Allowing the beam to be more effective against large and or rare resource deposits. Okay, that's could be useful. Personal force field could be useful. Um, I'd still have to make this with the hermetic seal and the technology module. All right, I'm not. I'm holding off for now um, because none of those are things I know that I want yet. This guy we already talked to. I guess we're done in here for now. All right, bum ruler. Thank you for popping in, and helping me with my uh, my new look here. All right, let's can I jump over. I don't know if we can take fall damage or not. Here's the primate's enigma. So let's head on for uh, very soon. I'm gonna take a quick bathroom break because I've been streaming for three hours. I gotta find where the bathroom, the restroom is in this space station. I'm gonna leave you guys here for one second. I will, man. Thank you, Nonsanity, non for me using me as your experiment. <laughs> Whether you can do that with your phone or not, I definitely will get myself a coffee. In fact, I got some tea in the other room that I'm going to get uh, once I empty. So I will be right back, guys. I'm going to leave you here with this view of the Primate's Enigma.
right, I am back. I ate a nice nectarine, get my blood sugar up, and see what's going on here. Let's get in my ship and let's go. I got a black tea, a little caffeine, blood sugar, a little caffeine, and then we're gonna follow that little beacon right there. Planetary coordinates. Hopefully that's actually on this planet. Let's see. I'm gonna go that way. So it'll be four minutes like that. Let's do that. Ooh, hopefully we don't run into anything. Sanity is pausing the stream to stream. <laughs> I wonder how I roll. Not like that. There you go. Yeah, so we still didn't get our terraformer. We don't have a bolt caster. We don't have a whole lot of anything yet. I have not checked my fuel on here at all. I wonder how we're doing on that, actually. Pulse engine. Okay, is empty. We can fill that with the tritium that we were mining from the asteroids. Okay. That didn't get us very far, so we need to do more asteroid mining. Launch thrusters. We are doing okay, but we'll need to make more Starship launch fuel. I wish there was a way you could just jump to that immediately. Do it in here. Uh, the, the consumables. Starship launch fuel. I thought that was in here. Maybe I can't make it in the Starship. I know that it wanted uh, dihydrogen jelly. Oh, here it is. And metal plating, right. So gotta make metal plating. So now we can make a fuel. Okay, let's make another metal plate. And we can make another fuel. We got those ready to go. Next time, oh, and we've still been flying. <laughs> what you gonna stream on Sanity? If you're still listening. We're gonna head off to our mysterious signal source. Okay, and we passed it. How do you fly this thing? Okay, we're headed in. There it is, and we're on a desert planet, so we should be able to get pyrite. Oh, look at that. Ooh, some flying critters. All right, I've managed to land. We got a restore point. Ooh. Sodium nitrate. We wanted that for something. Let's scan it. Get some units received. Vulcanite. Oh, I should have bought the advanced mining laser. Okay. So I guess we'll have to head back and get that. Let's grab this real quick. All right, those are just like that one time boost. Broken technology. So hopefully we're going to be able to do this one. We got to fix it to get whatever's in here. Decipher signal. 
No fuel in. Gzz, fail to reach station. Hazard protection low. No choice but to gzz, underground. Gzz, gzz, deployed base computer. Aha! As well as the log entry, the signal contains plans for a base computer and and a terrain manipulator. Look at that. We got a terrain manipulator. Oh, I paused my stream to stream. <laughs> I did indeed. With any luck, the base computer will hold more information about whoever is leaving this messages. Let's leave. We don't need... No, okay. We'll download the plans. All right. Terrain manipulator. Oh, and it's easy. It's just carbon nanotubes and dihydrogen jelly. So we just need to make one more carbon nanotube and we can do terrain manipulation. I'm so excited. <laughs> All right. And we can do this. So why don't we do it in my exosuit? We're going to make a carbon nanotube. And now it's probably going to be in the multi-tool, right? I guess, I guess, I guess. So we're going to do uh, install technology, terrain manipulator. Alrighty. Okay. So we got this. New entry unlocked, finding resources. Press P to read more. We'll do that in a second. Let's see. Mining beam, terrain manipulator. All right, check it out. We got a bubble. Whoa! -ho. <laughs> Whoa! -ho. So it makes holes. Big old holes. And then can I put stuff back? Switch alt. Change size. Oh, did I just build that? Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, oh. <laughs> oh man! We can do things. Do I have infinite stuff to build with? Or do I, um... Do I, is it based on what I have edited? Terrain manipulator advanced mode, shape and material options, undo last edit, back to mining. So shape and material op, oh, okay. So this is Q and E, that's base, rock, mountain, underwater, cave. I have choices of materials and changes of shape how do i do that navigate aha oh i can do squares oh we're in minecraft <laughs> select maybe okay so now we have a cube we can change the size oh kind of cubic fully we make a big old cube <laughs> that's awesome yes time to head home from work I think I'll buy this on PS4 now see you later right on yeah it looks plenty fun especially now if we can do this terrain manipulation my goodness Just reduce that Reduce that. Small one. Just a little crude. I was trying to make stepping stones. How do I get out of this? Back to mining. Right on. So... Manipulator mode, create, mine. That's fantastic. And then, yeah. But what it was again, it was Z. No, it wasn't that. 
to choose the things. That's create mode. Okay, when I'm in here, shape and material options are Z. And I can press R to undo the last one. That's fantastic. Okay, so I want to do that. <laughs> so let's see, if I bust that and then I press R, it doesn't seem to undo it. All right, well, we have that now. That's going to be too much fun. Indeed. So that's cool. And then where was these things? Can I... Yeah, I got to uh, get the advanced mining laser to get those. I forget what I needed sodium nitrate for. Back to the mining beam, terrain manipulator. That's sweet, so we'll get more and more adept at using that, I'm sure. We've got butterflies here. So we can keep scanning things. I guess I scanned it. Alright, well I feel like we're getting somewhere. I still have mysteries in here, but... It feels like things are solvable. I definitely had to proceed with that little mission. In order to move on. Let's get some units so I can buy some things. So there was definitely a fair amount of grinding in here scanning and mining and stuff so it's definitely truly a survival game in that way look at the mess I created <laughs> that's awesome let's save you can just gone midnight here in the UK thanks and happy gaming alright Draken thanks for watching Looks like my stream is having an issue. Stream resumed. All right, the stream had an issue there, but uh, looks like it's uh, coming back again. What's going on here? Why is it having such a hard time? Give me a second here while I figure out what's going on. I've alt tabbed out. And I'm just trying to see what the issue is here. And why it's going down. It's my internet messing up again. Stupid internet. All right, hopefully it's gonna come back okay. This game seems like it would be hard just to do episodes of, at least at this point. Yeah, it's having issues. It almost ended itself. to see what the issue is there's no way for me to know there's not a whole lot I can do um, there's nobody here competing with the internet for me um, one second folks Yeah, I can only hope that it's just going to recover. I gotta tab out one more time. Make sure that's up. Ok, 
Can't wait till I have better internet. Alright, well. Hopefully, you guys will um, get this. You know, one thing I can do, actually. I can turn the quality down a little bit. I don't want to do that, but... Um, We'll do that. We'll go from 4,000 bit rate down to 3,500. So apply that. That should help a little bit. I keep thinking, it keeps saying that stream is complete, which we know is not the case. Um, stream options. Yeah, we got uh, low latency, best for near real-time interaction with minimum playback buffering. So, hopefully, no, a stream is not complete. Come back. Mm-hmm. Working on it, folks. Working on it. Well. Yeah. Internet is definitely messing up. So. You know, what I might need to do here, folks, is um, I don't want to lose you all. But I think I'm going to end the stream just for 10 minutes. I'm going to reboot my router, which seems to work sometimes. Um, it's probably just on my ISP's end. I'm going to do a little testing on that. And we will be right back. So I'm just going to go ahead, get in my ship. Actually, no, you know what I can do? <laughs> Is I'm going to go ahead and do this. I got gestures. Select that. No. Select gestures and we're going to wave. <laughs> I'll see you in five minutes, folks. I'll be right back. But just in case I lose you. Oh, I got to get out of here. Thank you for watching.